Hello mates, I am Kiran Zadav here. Today's session, we'll start with the practical approach here and we'll go ahead with the first Hello World application. Then editor, I will prepare here Eclipse. If you want to download the Eclipse, you can simply come up with the Chrome browser and type there Eclipse download. Then as per your operating system, you can simply download the Eclipse here and once you download it, then you, next step, you can simply go ahead with the installation. In my case, I have already available Eclipse. Then you can simply double click on that. And once you are going to double click on Eclipse installation file, the next step, you can simply choose Eclipse for Java Enterprise Developer, Java 2 EE, Enterprise Edition. See, here you will be able to see Eclipse IDE Eclipse ID for Enterprise Java and Web Developer. You can simply click on that and then go to the next, next and finish. In my case, already Eclipse available. Then I'm just going to press Windows button here and type Eclipse. See it will take some time to open the Eclipse here. <coughs> and once Eclipse is open, then I will choose here specific workspace. Then I am giving the name workspace as a YouTube 2025. Then upcoming sessions we are going to use IntelliJ as well, but this session I will prefer to use Eclipse. Then simply com coming with the file and here option available switch workspace. I want to use here the workspace as other and I am giving the workspace name as YouTube 2025 then simply click on launch <coughs> now we are just waiting to see Eclipse ID once it up and running then we will go ahead and create the first application here see now simply you can come up with the file the new dynamic web project if you are not able to see dynamic web project here then you have option available goes to other and then simply type here dynamic web project see here it coming as dynamic web project but anyway if you are able to see here file new dynamic web project then you can simply create the project here i am giving the application name application name as java basics and simply click on finish see our application is created successfully here. Now you can simply come up with the project explorer. See here is available Java basics. You can simply close this welcome file here. Now coming to Java basics. Inside that we are coming with the src main Java. Then you can simply right click here src main Java. The new package. The package name I am giving here com.fullstack.core. What is this com? Com it means OS level core level package. Full stack it means our company name and the core it means we are learning the core Java and package all letters must be lowercase. Now our package is created successfully then simply right click on package new Java class and the Java class name I am giving here hello world. Now you can simply click on finish then once you are going to click on finish then see it will open the our hello world.java then maximize the size of screen by using control M and the font size is very small I want to increase the font size simply coming with the windows preferences this is only first time we are doing here actually from next session we don't require to increase the font size also then coming to general then appearance color and fonts and you can simply select here basic inside that there is available text font now you can simply double click on text font and I am selecting the font as 16 now click on ok apply apply and close now here I want to add here main method then you can simply use control space then see once you are using control space it will add the main method but i will recommend whenever you are trying to use main method you can simply type out of suggestion it will be populating there right for that perspective you can simply come up with the windows there is available preferences now we'll simply come up with the java see in java there is available editor and in editor there is available content asset under content asset there is available Add to activation trigger for Java and after dot you can simply type A to Z. See, I type here A to Z, then simply apply and then apply and close. Now you can simply come up with back here and type main. See, automatically it giving auto suggestions. Simply hit enter. See, main method is available there. Now I want to use this out then simply type spyso and hit enter see and here in double quotes i am just giving this is 
hello world now simply save the file right click here do run as java application it will print the hello world this way we done with the first hello world program by using eclipse editor then now if you want to change here instead of hello world we are going to say welcome to full stack java developer pune welcome to full stack java developer pune now simply right click again to run as java application it will give us the output if you want to use shortcut key then again your option available function f11 see here it will give us the output right yeah you can simply press function f11 it will give us the output again if you want to use some other approach then again you can simply use here run as java application it will give us the output again you can simply come coming with the run window here also run as java application it will give us the output okay then we'll come up with the explanation part here and this is the first hello world application we have created the project as <coughs> sorry the project has java basics and the java version we are using java 17 under src main java we have created the package as com.fullstack.core and within single package you can create group of classes number of classes right package it means it will be group of classes and package all letter must be lower case and the packaging structure you can start with the com then your company name and then your project name whatever you are doing here we are learning core java that's why we have given com.fullstack.core and within that package we have created the class as hello world now you can simply use control m it will maximize the size of screen then here hello world we have given as a class name and class first letter always must be capital public is access modifier access modifier it means scope of visibility in java there are four type of access modifier private default protected and public public it means access everywhere class class it means it's a predefined template it is a collection of objects variables and methods and this is our hello world this is our application name then this is main method method always start with the lower case and main method always we are declaring as public static wide then again public is the access modifier public it means access everywhere we have separate session available for access modifier in upcoming dates static static is a reserve keyword here and once you declare method here static right if you are declaring any method at static and if you want to call within main method then you not need to create the object to call within main method then wide is a written type it does not return a single thing and main is our method name then string is a class here we are passing string type of array arguments string is a class coming from java.lang package you can simply mouse over there on string class see string is a class coming from java.lang package and dot lang package by default available in java and here we are passing array of arguments for storage perspective then here if you want to change like such an approach that also possible simply do right click run a java application it will give us the output if you want to use here like dot 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 array of arguments if you are passing then also it will give us the output coming to next line this is the scope of our main method and this is the scope of our main class now coming to our printing statement system dot out dot print ln. system is a java class coming from dot lang package dot lang package by default available in java and system class available from since java 1.0 coming to next out out is the object coming from print stream class and object always start with the lower case println is a method like method also start with the lower case and println method coming from print stream class and here we are trying to print welcome to full stack java developer pune we have given in double quotes then simply right click do run a java application it will give us the output whatever we are expecting yeah then in this session we have started with the practical approach then upcoming sessions day to day we'll see more practical examples then thanks for watching this video Please do like, share, subscribe the channel to get more updates and see you in next video.